in this Q&A number three, I'll be answering your questions from the last video. And also, I'll be talking about some cubing regrets I had, especially when I first started. So first, do you know Fololol? Yeah, I do. Probably like a year and a half ago or something. Do you have any tips to learning OLLs and PLLs faster? Well, there are lots of people that have made videos um, for learning algorithms faster. One of them being Colorful Pockets, who's made a pretty good video. But for recognition, the main thing that you really want to do is just test yourself with a lot of cases. And it really helps pin down the algorithm with the case. What country do you live in? Well, I live in Felix's country, of course. I moved just because I um, heard he was in Australia. So yeah. When did you start? I started on the 30th of December 2012. So I've been cubing for four years and four months. What was your first non-WCA event? Um, my first non-WCA event was the Geek Cube. It was my, one of my first ever cubes, actually, I bought on holidays, before I even knew what events were WCA and what weren't. Who is your favourite cuber? That would have to be Jaden McNeil. And regular YouTuber? I like a lot of channels, so I don't know which. Majority of my subscriptions are cubing channels anyway. How many comps have you been to? Three comps in total, two out of state, and one local. And asking about my VPerm alg, I've got it up on the screen now. Do you know any subsets for 3x3? Yeah, I know OLL, PLL, COLL, about 25 ZBLLs. I learned about five easy one corner winter variations, which are pretty helpful. And I've just started learning BLE. I'm about four into it so far, and it and it looks okay, but I'm, I'm not sure how frequently the cases will come up in solves though. So that's the only thing I'm a bit worried about. And as for some cubing regrets I want to talk about, so to make sure you guys don't fall into some of these traps. Um, so for 4x4, four four, there are a couple of these, but I'll just talk about my main one, which was doing cross on left in the yaw. I started with cross on top, and it I did, tra I did take the transition. It did take a little while, but... Now I'm successfully doing cross on left, which is much better. Another one was not getting into advanced methods and cubes sooner. When I started, I started with a Rubik's brand, obviously beginner method, but for some reason I never felt the need to go and look up an advanced method for a very long time or look up a better cube. So I stuck with that for maybe one and a half years or one year. And I was getting really, really fast with the method and cube but it wasn't really getting me much anywhere. And of course, next big one, color neutrality. I uh, really wish I was, I am color neutral. I am white and yellow though, so that's all right. A half regret I have, or kind of I'm glad I did, was experimenting and learning the best OLL for each case instead of just learning the easiest. This is so I didn't have to relearn a bunch of OLLs when I got really fast. This did happen to me with a couple of OLLs, but I'm really glad that I stuck with a lot of them so I didn't have to relearn OLL. So yeah, that's about it for this video guys. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comments and I'll answer them for the next Q&A. So I'll see you guys in the next video.